It is time to talk about the accessories from the 2024 Moxie Life launch. This is what I picked up. I picked up the mini, mini sticky notes in pastel, the sticky notes um, little folio, and the washi tape set along with the three monthly bookmarks. Um, and so let's go over those real quick so you guys can get a heads up on my thoughts on those. If you do want to skip to certain parts, look for the timestamps down below. I'll be certainly to put them there along with my affiliate link and my coupon code. So if you are interested, you can go ahead and pick those up. Let's, since I've got them in my hands, let's start with the, um, the tree bookmark trio. They are the same style, comfortability, and thickness as, where I'm gonna scoot you guys out of the way, as the one that comes with your planner that I took out. And here it is. Okay, so it is exactly the same height. Um, it is the A5 height. And the reason behind that is, is because they want you to be able to use it in the undated daily, which is the A5 size, so it does fit. So if you're saying, hey, it doesn't go all the way at the bottom, that is why. Now the difference between the one that comes with it, which is this one that's today, and by the way, love how those snap in. They are certainly um, a lot easier than the Erin Condren ones, which um, I am comparing them to. I do not like the thickness of the Erin Condren bookmarks. They're super, super sturdy and too thick, and I love, this is my favorite accessory of the entire collection. I know that sounds sad, but this is it. I love these. Um, they do have a um, kind of a matte finish of the uh, the foiling on top. It's opaque, as you can see, so it's not completely see-through, but um, adds some shading there. Annual goals, weekly action, and monthly goals are what's on top. And then on the edge, the monthly goals says dare to grow. The weekly action says just begin and annual goals are dream big. And then beside it is the life compass, which is the whole concept of Moxie Life and um, growing certain areas of your life in certain colors um, are represented by those. So that is what the bookmark trio is. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one in here. Um, monthly goals would obviously go, I'll get to that in a second, monthly goals. Um, go right here. You can pop those in there. And the reason I don't like the Erin Condren ones, because when you put them in and you flip the page, it's tough to write on. There's this huge bump. This one is a little bit better. There still is a bump. Um, so just be mindful that when you're writing, um, you want to make sure that you can not get to that bump. Um, but that's just me. I'm kind of a freak about bumping when I'm writing because I already have bad enough handwriting. I don't need a bump to um, be a part of it. So now we have weekly actions. Obviously, you've got this one. You can use them for anything. You can certainly um, take a, um, a little sticker if you wanted to and make them for different months. Um, that would be a great option. And this is annual goals, so this would always be up front. Obviously, you're not doing your annual goals every single time, but it's so nice to refresh and look forward to those um, every time you're doing your monthly and weekly planning just to make sure you're on the same track. So Bookmark Trio is definitely an A plus thumbs up for me. Love them, will use them um, every single month. All right, let's talk about sticky notes. We'll start with this one first. If I'm if I'm gonna be honest, which I always am try to be honest with my reviews, I don't think the packaging is going to hold up long term. You get a ton of um, of these in these colors. Now there's two different colorways, pastel and um, bold, I think is what it's called. Uh, and this is a ton of sticky notes for each color which is fantastic. The only thing I think is not going to hold up is this tiny little tab. I can already see that it's going to be um, pulled a little bit as I keep opening and closing it. So think about other ways to store it because I think this packaging is not going to hold up. It does have, uh, say, what it is, 100 sheets per pad. And uh, as far as I know, the, the place to make sticky notes is in Korea. So this is the primo sticky note capital of the world is Korea. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. And you may have sneak peeked just a smidge. I went to January. These um, are showing here in the monthly view. Obviously they're about, they are almost exactly half of that square. 
they fit again just perfectly there in the side and as far as showing you here they are just about the same length as those if you're looking into the weekly actions with by the way is the same height as these these are the same height so obviously they would have that same type of length and width and then here's what they would look like here in the weekly section of the vertical excuse me the horizontal let me show you the vertical here real quick that is the same width do to do, 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 do tick tock tick tock time is wasting okay finally got one and we got it here it is the width of the column so that works great um, and you can see that they do stick they stick really well um, they're not the best that I've ever worked with as far as sticking outside but if you're like a color coding freak with your life compass these are a, um, a for sure a definite buy and now that I've fiddled with them um, they're coming out of their packaging I just this is a lot of fiddling for me it's just not for me which is fine not for me um, as far as fiddling packages I will just get a little tiny bag and put all of that in there and, and call it good because this is not working for me. Okay, so mini sticky notes. Uh, I'd give them a grade of about B plus. Work great, love the colors, fantastic. Let's go ahead and start talking about the sticky note book. Now this is like a folio, it's a hard cover. So it's really great to travel, you can throw it in your bag. I've actually um, put it in the folio with um, under one of these, which is great. You know, if you wanted to take it on the go, you can obviously stick it in your folio, um, which I'll get to next. But yeah, this, this really works great. Um, I do have a little quality control issue and I'll show you that real quick. Notice the front piece is not all the same size. And I don't know if it's me or the packaging or I don't know, maybe they just, it was like the first off the line and they hadn't figured it out yet. But um, just know that that, uh, it could be an issue in yours. Hopefully it's not. Um, I have not contacted customer service about it, um, but I'll talk about customer service when I talk about the folio in a separate video. Um, so let's take a look at some of the these where they look in here. So there's different sizes. We have the box. This goes perfectly in the monthly, which you'll see, or over here, see. I wanted to make sure I showed it to you vertically and horizontally um, with the month. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look with one. Apparently I did not stick one in the monthly so you can see what that looks like. Okay, um, I wouldn't say it's a perfect fit unless you really wanna cover up that date. And then it kind of fits almost perfectly when it covers up that date. Um, it does fit obviously in the side column here. It's just a little bit narrower. It is the same size as this sticker, um, which, which is lovely this way, I love that. Um, you can see it here in this and then in the weekly view here's what it looks like in the vertical and again I'm taking it out in out in and they are sticking down so um, it gets like a a minus in the sticky department so I'm not I'm not not too shabby about that one here's what it would look like in the horizontal and this is going to be my main planner this year this horizontal I love the horizontal now I'm like totally addicted um, so we have some other sticker combos we have here. This is this size right here. It fits great here um, as far as it looking like this in the vertical. Let's go ahead and see that. This is just a lot of sticky noting, but I wanna make sure you guys have a, a great comparison between the two. And obviously in the monthly, it's going to be larger than the box, but I'll certainly show you what that looks like there. It does fit the column, obviously. So there is the sticky notes. Let's move on. Uh, and I like the packaging. I'm fine with the packaging. I just wish there was like a, like a, like a elastic band to go around it because it, it literally sits open like this constantly. So that's my only concern is, is it doesn't ever lay flat once you get it out. And um, I, I'm, I'm pretty loosey goosey with my stuff. So I would throw that around and it would open and I would, you know, break it. Um, and I would rip out some of those. But anyway, like all it needs is a little bit of like magnets or something. I don't know. Well, they'll figure it out for next year. Uh, 
All right, let's move on to the washi tape set. This is gonna be some ASMR, just letting you know, because I have not taken it out of its packaging, which always stellar packaging from Moxie Life. Um, love this. Okay, ready? And there you go. That was pretty cool. Um, great box. You could like totally use it afterwards. Um, legit, I would put all of my sticky note stuff in the bottom of the box just to have it all there. Um, that would just be me. Uh, the sticky notes fit perfectly in the box top, FYI. And that looks so super cute, St really cute. All right, let's talk about the washi. It does have this ring that's included, and it's a very sturdy ring. Would fit around like bags. If you were really into it, you could stick it around there. Not that I would. Um, good stuff. Um, obviously, with this washi, it's you're, you use a lot of it. Let's see, it's 16 rolls, uh, five millimeter with the storage ring that's 110 millimeters wide. So that's pretty nifty. Um, Let's talk about quality of the washi. I am like beyond picky when it comes to washi quality. So let's see, does it rip? Rips fine. And go back to January. It sticks really well. Let's see if it pulls up great. Ooh. Okay, note to self, it does not does not pull up fantastically on the paper. I guess you have to be a little ginger with it. Um, interesting. I didn't, I wasn't aware. I thought it would come up cleanly. I'm sorry. That was a little shock to my system. Anyway, um, nothing that a good sticky note won't fit, right? A little sticky note action and no one will ever know. No one will ever know. They won't know. Okay. So there you go. Uh, great colors. Um, I have seen some people write and then it goes on top. You could write on top of it with a Sharpie if you wanted to. I could try that if you're interested. Now I'm like totally nervous to put it. Let's go to the notes section. We can, you can write on it certainly. If you had a Sharpie, I've got a uh, 0.5 Unipin. You know that those are the the Unipins. Let's see how well this works. Um, I don't think it's working with the Unipin. It's because it's the waterproof. You've got to find either a permanent marker or you got to do a ballpoint. Who has a ballpoint? Oh, here's one right here. Oh, this is ink too. This isn't ballpoint. This is ink gel. Well, this is being, this is kind of ending on a flop, isn't it? All right, well that came up a little bit more cleanly. Maybe I was too harsh before. There is some paper residue on the back of it. So maybe be thoughtful when you use it um, and use a permanent marker, which I don't have right now. All right, let's try that again. I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna write on it, and then I'm gonna pick it up, see if it if it has the same effect. Okay, I grabbed two, I, found, I picked up a Micron and a Sharpie, and see which one works best. It's super thin to write on, but you can. I don't have the right thickness of Sharpie. Okay, let me swipe. The micron, a little bit wet still, obviously that's just fine, except for the I dotted a little too heavy. And then let's be a little bit more cautious pulling up. Not bad. I still have some paper residue on the back, so just be just be careful when you use the washi and you want to rip it off out of your planner. Which is great because that means it sticks great. So it's not the most perfect washi ever, but it certainly is a color matching phenom. 
All right, that ends all of my accessories that I purchased, including, <clears throat> oh, that's right, I put them in. My bookmark trio, which is, is right here again. A plus on the bookmark trio. Um, uh, for the washi, I'm saying like a B. So, sorry washi. There you go. That's my accessories for um, the Moxie Life Launch. Um, thanks for stopping by. I'll have all the links below for all the other videos that are going along with this collection, the flagship and the folio video. And you can also find the links below as well um, for the affiliate if you are interested in purchasing any of the products that I reviewed today or in this and other videos. Thanks for stopping and the link below to the next video is right there. Thanks guys. Bye.